when you're a technical professional, it can be challenging to give your pitch to someone in a different field. Don't worry, we've got you covered. First, we'll show you some common mistakes. Here's Jen, showing her technology at an event where tech business leaders are looking for the next big thing. Jen will demonstrate what not to do. So I have the best hexagonal writing implement out there. Um, it's called a pencil. I'm Jen, and uh, by the way, I'm from PNNL. And back to the writing implement, it's this graphite clay and alkali borate material that affects the hardness. So let me tell you more about the pencil, this graphite communication instrument. We've done extensive. Um, so yeah, uh, but our research shows that the yellow pencil is probably the best. Let me uh, try and tell you um, who you can talk to at the lab, um, how you can. We recently published all the data, which you can get online. Um, it was in the journal for the National Academies of Pencil Science, or NAPS. So yeah, so these have hexagonal shapes. Um, they're really easy to use and they're wonderful. Um, the erasers come from rubber trees and we source them locally. Sometimes we source them from a... So tell me, what's the market for this? Oh, well, um, we wouldn't really know about the market yet because like... Um, I see someone else I need to talk with. I'll, I'll see you later. Wait, I didn't tell you about the military grade aluminum crimping material that we use to keep the eraser on, but... Talk about missed opportunities, right? Jen learned from that experience. Thanks for stopping by the booth. My name is Jennifer Lee. I'm a commercialization manager at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, and I'm here presenting a writing implement that uses um, bonded graphite. Um, and I'm wondering if this might suit your needs. My company manufactures a product similar to this. Can you tell me why I would need this? Oh, okay, well, I, I do think that this is going to do the trick. Um, it writes for about 35 miles or 45,000 words, so it does write for a really long time and you can sharpen them readily. And um, it's much better than what's currently out there because pens do run out. Sometimes, depending on how you're writing, they might not really work as well. And mechanical pencils can often get stuck and you need refills for those too. So to your earlier question about how we can adapt the pencils that we currently have to write upside down in space, there are lots of different um, contracting mechanisms for which you can work with us. And I can send you some of the information um, via email if you would like. So what you see here is a prototype that we've developed. And we're looking for a manufacturing partner who can help us take the results that we've gathered in the lab and actually make a much better pencil. So what is the market for this? So with the population of over 7 billion people around the world and the need for a pencil regardless of your age, whether you're in elementary school or you're an adult doing crossword puzzles, we do think that there is a very broad market for the pencil around the world. Um, our initial results indicate that this can be manufactured quite cheaply, so you would actually be able to put a pencil in the hand of every single one of those people. All right, so if I understood correctly, um, I will send you the brochure on how to best work with us. Um, since you gave me your card right here, let me write down um, that information and I will follow up with an email when I'm back at the office. Have a storyline. Be prepared to adapt in the moment. Practice and get feedback. Define the problem and then the solution. Ask what your visitor is interested in. Adjust accordingly. Explain how your technology could be used in the marketplace. Say what it is and does. No jargon. Include your ask. Follow up quickly.